Uh, hello, sorry, this is the uh, case one program uh, explanation as you see here. Uh, we have uh, the output and we have the input. The input is the uh, generation uh, of uh, each microgrid and the output is the fitness value, the, the generation from each microgrid also and the power loss, the uh, network cost, total cost, generation cost and the uh, uh, total uh, curtailed and curtailed energy for each uh, uh, power uh, for each network as you see this is the initial data uh, the first thing read the load profile for data and after that the pv wind profile also and uh, the network load also read the load data uh, is the uh, load at each passes and after that also the read the time uh, tariff of the microgrid and uh, after that we initialized the, the initial uh, state of charge of the battery for the four batteries and the uh, uh, battery uh, cost the battery uh, cost as you see here and after that we started with microgrid as you mentioned before microgrid contained one pv uh, and one battery storage so uh, the PV is the capacity uh, 360 uh, multiply the profile and after that this is the uh, cost of the uh, PV and then we calculated the cost from the PV and uh, also the battery the battery storage is dependent on the uh, optimization function and after that we calculated the, the uh, microgrid uh, load profile and then we calculate the net load if the net load is um, uh, is the difference between the pv generation and microgrid load and after that we uh, decide if the battery can charging and discharging dependent on the net load if the net load is uh, positive and the state of charge is less than one and the battery storage is uh, less than two zero so this is the charging mode so batteries will charging and changing the state of charge the, and this is the case of uh, discharge if the, better, if the state of charge is more than 0.2 and network is uh, um, uh, ne net load is uh, negative and the battery storage is positive so we, we are in discharge uh, mode and we changing uh, the state of charge and after that also if this is not charge or discharge so the battery storage is zeros and after calculating the battery storage, we uh, recalculated the network uh, net load by uh, subtract the PV, uh, PV minus, minus a load and a plus a battery storage. And after that, uh, this is the net load is multiplied by the tariff of the network. So to calculate it, the network cost uh, of, my, of the microgrid one, and also we calculated the curtailed from the network. If you uh, have excess energy, so this is energy is uh, 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 not benefits, so we should to curtail th this energy. And after that, we subtract it from the PV because we uh, need this PV1 or the PV to uh, use it in the uh, load flow. And after that, the same thing, microgrid 2. The microgrid 2 contain the PV2 and battery storage 2, and the same thing is also and the uh, second microgrid is the same thing but in the microgrid the, the, there is a wind, tur a wind turbine so uh, the wind turbine is profile pro uh, multiplied by the PV wind profile the pro uh, wind profile and after that also calculated the cost and my net load and calculated the, the network cost and so on the, the same thing is micro grid four and five and so on and after that we uh, calculated after calculated each uh, microgrid separately and after that we start to calculate the total cost the total cost is the solar cost wind cost network cost battery storage cost uh, the total uh, solar cost total wind cost total network cost total battery cost and uh, then uh, we uh, start to uh, make the load flow the, the load flow is uh, contain two things <clears throat> the first uh, uh, thing, the flow, the flow, uh, to calculate the power loss, it is the generation. This is the generation from each uh, 
uh, ones from the PV1, PV2, 3, and 4, 5, 6, and so on, went to the turbine, and gas uh, yes, turbine battery storage for each microgrid, and this is the location. This is the location of generation, and after that, uh, put it in the load flow and make the load flow calculated power loss, and then we calculated the fitness function. Fitness function uh, is to, this is the fitness, is the network cost, so uh, system, uh, solar cost, wind cost, battery, uh, gas turbine cost, and power loss. And the total cost is the network cost, solar cost, uh, power cost, uh, wind, battery storage, or generation. And uh, this is the curtailed energy from each uh, and, uh, from each network. And this is the total uh, this is the total curtailed energy for all the microgrid. Uh, and this is the also the network cost. That means the energy cost from uh, the network. And uh, this is the also uh, uh, network cost for each microgrid, and this is the battery storage, uh, and the new battery storage because uh, this the battery storage is uh, is not uh, is the point uh, two, so we cannot uh, discharge if the battery storage is uh, uh, one is cannot charge. So uh, now this is the updated. Uh, generation that uh, is output from uh, that uh, program this is the uh, pro uh, the case one uh, fitness function we hope understand us if you have any question you should uh, uh, we hope to uh, answer you thank you very much for your listening and uh, we will start uh, on the case two uh, and uh, get the results soon as soon as soon as possible Thank you very much.